Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I'm Andrew Grimer from Team Grimer Racing. Today, we'll be comparing the two leaders of the market of data logging and karting. On one side, we have the Alfano 6, launched in 2018. On the other side, we have the Marathon 5, launched back in 2015. So let's get started. Woo! So in this video, we'll be comparing all the features of the two devices, basically seeing which one gives you the best value for money for the consumer. From a quick glance, these two products, they are very similar. Screen size, weight, dimension. They can both give you two temperatures with optional products such as speed sensors and more temperature um, sensors. And they also work with magnetic systems. These two products, they um, both give you different backlight colors, have alarm sensors for LEDs, and also luminous sensors for automatic backlight, which is good to have. But the Micron and Alfano, they do have their differences, which can make them very different. So let's head in and find out what they are. Firstly, we're gonna talk about the pricing. So for these two prices, the, we have the Micron 5, without any sensors, comes in at $630. You can get a Micron 5 2T, which allows you to have two temperature sensors, and that comes in at $699. Here we have the Alfano with just the unit itself, and that comes in at $590. All of these prices are in Australian currency dollars. So now we're gonna be looking at the build quality and looks of these two products. So straight out the box, basically, the Micron Alfano, very well, well built, high standard. They've been known for their high quality products basically throughout the years. Um, we'll have a look at the Micron basically. So it's basically got a strong plastic outer shell with a nice plastic shiny um, front. You can see we've got the nice chrome metal buttons which is really nice to have. Um, it's got the five RPM um, lights and it's got two temperature lights there and that's its um, light sensor. Um, then we go to the Alfano, very similar. It's got a chrome plastic around the sides. Um, nice, strong, hard, shiny plastic, and it's got the chrome buttons as well. The Alfano has the six LED lights, two temperatures there, and then it's also got the um, light sensor, and that's also for the data. Um, both screens, same resolution and screen size as well, which is good to have. So now, if we turn the two devices around, we see this is where the Micron and Alfano are very different. For the Micron, they chose to just engrave um, the temperature sensors, which does make it a lot harder to see what you need. The mounting's the same with the washers and the M, um, the 13 size nut. And then their battery, it's actually not inbuilt and it's got, um, basically you can take it out, which does make it helpful as well. But you'll see later on, it does have its concerns there. With the Alfano, we see it gets a bit different. I'll just take these covers off. But we can see that the Alfano chose to actually make it different colours, so you know exactly what needs to go there. So red's temperature, black's for data download and um, charging, and green's for um, like your magnetic speed sensors. We see they have the inbuilt battery here, and it's got a nice solid soft outer shell with many screws keeping it together. Also, we see the, the RPM connector there. This is very good, and we enjoy how it's built. So basically, as we said before, the velocity of these designs are pretty opposite. So we have the Micron, and once again, with the battery being removable, it's much more serviceable. But then this removable battery brings a major aspect to the waterproofing of it. Since you can remove it, it gives another element for water to get through. And this has been a problem for the Microns. As the speeds the carts do, water can get in anywhere. And with the battery also, the screws do come undone. This has been a very known problem. If we go to the Alfano, as we said before, it's basically inbuilt the battery. So if there is something wrong with the battery, it is a lot harder to change. But then that's getting rid of an element for water to get through, which is very helpful. The Alfano has done a lot of water testing and we'll see in a video that we'll link up top where they've, done, they've shown how good the Alfano is good at water testing. So basically, in conclusion, the Micron is a much more serviceable product, but can face major water damage products, which has been known. They are trying to fix it, but yeah. So the Alfano is a lot more extreme with the testing and being the new product, 
So for us, it wins on there. Next, we'll be going on about GPS and connectivity of these two devices. So, both devices both have GPS on board, allowing them to track your speed, location and so much more. And this is so helpful for the data logging. So the Alfano, being the much newer product, was able to use the Galileo satellite network that is much better coverage than any other one. It also has GLONASS and Navstar GPS. The Micron 5 here only has the GLONASS and Navstar GPS system. The Alfano is able to choose from a lot more satellites and this helps it to have much better coverage and increased accuracy when driving. This helps for when you're doing your data logging and stuff like that. With the connectivity of these two devices, so both of them both have the ability for you to download the data onto external devices to be able to go much further detail in improving your driving. So the Alfano uses Bluetooth. Um, this is a very simple technology I found and it was much easier to configure and it was quicker just to send it straight over to its apps and devices. And we'll talk about more of the Alfano apps a bit later. The Micron 5 here uses something a bit different, Wi-Fi, which is still very good, but we found it can be a bit of a pain to set up with many steps. Um, so basically, they both allow you to send it to external sources, but a good thing which both these products will provide is um, they have data download cables, so you plug it, plug it straight into the device and then put the USB into your computer and it's able to directly download it basically straight away. With the simplicity, I like the Alfano with its Bluetooth. It was just three seconds and it was connected straight away. With the Alfano, it does have the automatic sensor where it'll automatically, once it's connected to that Wi-Fi on your computer, once you finish the session, it'll automatically send over that data straight to your computer, which is pretty good, I found. So next, we're going to be talking about the tracks and databases of these two products. So going on to racing, both these have built-in tracks in their database straight onto their devices. The Micron 5 here has around 1,500 tracks, with the Alfano being the newer product has a bit of an edge, having 2,600 tracks built in. Um, so basically, the tracks that the Alfano have are all very real, just like the Micron. Um, and they've basically got all pre-built sectors. You don't need to go anything. You just go on, to automatically pick it, like we said in the um, previous video, and then you go straight onto the track, and it picks the closest track to your location. You can edit this if you need to. Um, these basically app tracks that the Alfano has, if you have the Alfano 6 app, which we're talking about a bit later, you can edit them in any way to configure them just how you want them. The Micron 5s, unfortunately, the tracks aren't built in and you just need to upload them. But the Micron has a limited number that you can track so you can integrate. Lucky with both these devices, you are able to build the tracks that you need. If that's either being with your magnetic sensors or GPS, and it only takes two laps and tracks built. The Alfano being that little bit of a newer product was able to get more tracks, so it has that little bit edge than the Micron 5s for us. So now we're going to talk about customization of these two products. So basically when racing, everyone wants to um, basically change a few things of the devices so it suits them the best. Both the Alfano and Micron allow you to change aspects when racing and the Alfano can do a little bit more than what the Micron can. Both allow you to change the backlight colour, 6 for the Alfano and 7 for the Micron and you can configure what your LED colours are and your temperature, things like, thing, things like that. For the display when racing, the Alfano allows you to totally customize, customize the display to exactly how you want. And you have five different screens you can configure and four which are customizationable. And you can switch between them during the race if you want. These screens can be totally customized, customizationable just like we said. And we're going to go into this in a um, deeper video in a later video that we do. So make sure you subscribe to find out more. The Micron. You can only change a little bit, about I think four things when racing, and these are all preset, and you can't change the location or anything of these. So since our phone, you can totally customize the display, this gives it another edge for us to make it personal, just how you want it. So now we're gonna be going on to the batteries of these two devices. So with lap timers in the past, it's been a pain, because you just couldn't go to the track, and all of a sudden you go to turn it on, and what do you know, it doesn't turn on, it just dies randomly. The Micron 5 and Alfano 6 
really stepped their game up and they added um, lithium rechargeable batteries, which changed the game. The two devices did take different approaches with the Micron having the removable battery and the Alfano having the built-in one. The Alfano is being, a, you can just get a normal USB to charge it, means you're able to just get a smartphone battery pack charger if you need and charge it on the go. With a Micron's removable one, makes it a lot more easier. You can just take the battery out, bring it inside to your motorhome or something and charge it instead of having to possibly take your whole device off to charge it. However, if you need to change the battery on the Alfano, to say there's some problem, you will need to send the whole device over to the factory, but this isn't a known problem and there hasn't been any recurrence. With a Micron, you can just take the battery off and send it to them. The Micron's battery, like we said before, does mean its waterproofing is severely um, halted and the device can obviously be affected by waterproofing, like what we spoke before. The battle doesn't stop there for the battery, surprising, but the Micron only has 10 hours against the Alfano's, which says the battery lasts 40 hours, which we have seen. And it, for us, it lasted around the 30 to 35 hours. The Micron, it does about its 10 hours. With more and more endurance kart races coming up, 10 hours does seem a bit short compared to the 40, but they both work really well regardless. And 10 hours is still plenty for your normal club day races. So once again, a bit of a longer battery life does help the Alfano, but the, Alfano, but the Micron's removable also makes it a good um, benefit as well. So now with these two devices, we're going to be talking about the accessories you can get for them. Both devices, the Alfano and Micron, have a very large range of accessories you can get to connect to your devices, which make it, that allow them to have a much more larger range of devices and you can track everything from your speed to where your steering inputs are and your throttle control. These two devices also have um, basically external boxes you can get so you can get even more data and have even more sensors you can plug in. You can see these on the two websites we've linked up below and in. So like we said before, with both of these devices, you're able to send your data onto different devices to get the most out of your lap time and analyze your data that little bit more in detail. On the Alfano side, like we said before, they've got an app which is free to download on both iOS and Android, and you get it on a tablet. It's like this one we got here. Um, you can go through as much as you want and um, marry many different modes. And for a free app, it's very, and being on a tablet, it's very detailed and allows you to get um, that little bit more. And being on a tablet or a smartphone, you can easily just bring it out your pocket, quickly download data and get a lot, a very professional thing. If you need a, a bit of an edge, Alfano have partnered with Off Camera Data, which is a very pro level software, which many international big teams use and you're able to download that on PC and Mac for a small fee of $100, which is pretty good for the data and analyzing that it offers. With a Micron, unfortunately, it doesn't have any apps, so you can't get anything on your iPads or your tablets, but it does have a free software called Race Studio 3, but this is only available on Windows PCs. Race Studio 3, like we said, it's very powerful and allows you to customize everything with Alfano. You can also customize Set up your Alfano with Ray Studio 3, and you can also obviously download your data and look at it in much detail. Both of these softwares are really good and work great depending on the choices you prefer. If you like your tablets and your um, iPhones, the Alfano is very good, but we did find that the Micron 5's Ray Studio 3 was much better in data download and analyzing your data, do that a little bit more, so the Micron does win there. For the professional data use with our Alfano if you just want a quick simple download to compare times set up tracks and stuff like that the tablet worked great for us for that quick and easy um, solution so basically in conclusion there's no doubt the Micron and Alfano are providing so much for us Carter's lovers out there helping us with our data logging and stuff like that the Micron has been the top of the game throughout the world and has basically been smashing the data industry out there for carters. But hasn't really had a challenger for a couple of years. The new Alfano 6 being released has taken so much and is a real challenger now for the Micron 5, which is why we thought we did this video. 
that I finally was able to take feedback from its old products, its competitors like the Micron, and also it was able to get feedback from carters like us, the drivers, and also the race teams, so it could put exactly what us people need and want in the devices. This helped it, the Alfano is able to have its much more better GPS, which is much more accuracy, which is what the teams want, and for us serious data loggers out there to get them a little bit extra, and then he was able to get the customization, so us drivers are able to make it exactly how we want the display to be, to suit it preferably for how we want it as well. Then it has a little bit other more features, much more. The Alfano has really been at its top of the game, and for us with all these features, we believe that it's really the best data logging thing out there. But it all comes down to preference for you guys. Like for us in Australia, the Micron is really big. And for new people, it might be daunting learning a new product and having other people have the Micron allows them to blend in and they can share the data. But the Alfano 6 has really been smashing it and growing its popularity around the karting industry with many teams such as DR Racing and other teams hitting up the Alfano and they're all using it to get much more better and it's becoming much bigger and a better device. So in conclusion, we really hope you enjoyed this video. We know a lot of people have been wanting to compare the Micron and Alfano so they know which one's the best to get for them and gives them the best value for money. If you really liked the video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you really enjoyed it as we put a lot of effort into making this video to get the best information for you guys. Make sure you also subscribe as we have a lot more videos coming out with the more in-depth videos about the Alfano and the Micron about other features it's produced. We'll also be showing um, basically cart setup videos, stuff like that to help you guys out. And also, we've got our race highlight videos and races that we attend. We, like, we hope you enjoy this content. Once again, make sure you share the video, share it to all your carters' friends so then they're able to also know what to get and get the most value for money. We really hope you enjoyed the video. And see you next time. I'm Andrew Grime from Team Grime Racing. Hope you liked it. Thank you.